September 1, Tuesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on a Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with a spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, Ha! What have you to do us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet! Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord With authority and power, Jesus began teaching in the Jewish synagogue. The synagogue was an important part of Jewish religious life because it served as a place of worship during the time of exile when there was no temple. And it also functioned as a school for young boys during the week. Even after the exile, when the temple was rebuilt, the synagogue continued to operate. A leader was designated to oversee the running of the synagogue, and visiting rabbis were often invited to read the scriptures and to teach the assembly. Unlike most rabbis who simply quoted from the other teachers of the Mosaic law, Jesus speaks with authority and power, which is evident in his healing and exorcism. Even the demons recognize that God's power resides in Jesus. The evil spirit identifies Jesus as the Holy One of God, not as a confession of faith, but in submission to the mightier power of God over the evil one. The power of Jesus continues to operate in the church ministers and in the sacraments. The ordained ministers receive authority and power and acts in the person of Christ for the service of the church community. Jesus shares such power with his words to Peter, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven.